Hey everybody, Alyssa here, and this week in our throat chakra and communication crystals, we are talking about blue kyanite. This is what it looks like. It's a very slivery type stone, just like the selenites and the tourmalines. And this one's a little bit of a lighter blue. You guys may remember this crystal from many of the crystal enchanted crystal unboxings that we have done. It's a very common one, but most of the time I think you'll see the blue kyanites being a little bit richer like this one. And they are quite similar looking, you guys, to the selenite. Of course, this one is like really bright, but you can see that they have that slivery texture. I feel like these two so these two stones would be like sister stones, if this makes sense. A little bit of the same makeup. I'm not sure if the blue kyanite would dissolve in water. I have not tried. I don't want to try. But if you guys know, you can let me know. I know the selenite will, though. So be careful there. And um, my journey for this was very simple and quick, it felt to me as far as the messages that Blue Kyanite wanted to share. The first imagery I saw was actually a piece of ice going onto a burn. And I felt like it's a crystal that helps cool. It helps cool an overactive throat chakra. So this is one that it's more of a balancing type of crystal. And it feels like it's stabilizing. So if you feel like you're having an overactive or an underactive throat chakra, this is, this is like the perfect antidote to both because it's it feels like it's a stabilizing crystal. It feels like the energy, it, it provides what you need to keep that center in balance. And um, it felt, it just felt like a rushing waterfall of, of, of energy to me. And so I feel this crystal really strongly is connected to water and air elements which would be kind of fitting in my perspective for balancing the throat chakra. The coolest part of this whole journey that I really want to share with you guys was that it was harmonizing three of our chakra centers. So it was harmonizing in like this, it's almost like a kite, you know, like the kites that we would get the wind going and you have the kites flying around. So it was like a, a kite shape where it was connecting the third eye to the ear chakras and then down to the throat chakra. So it was this like huge kite shape, just like connecting and harmonizing those centers. And I thought it was really neat because I was actually hearing some toning that was working with it. And I couldn't tone the tone for you guys if I wanted to, and it would probably sound horrendous if I tried anyway. And <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen Dumb and Dumber, but when Jim Carrey's like making that really annoying noise, that's probably what my toning would sound like. <laughs> when they're like in the car with the guy and he's making that really, like, you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? That's probably what my toning would sound like if I tried to do it for you guys, especially over the internet. So <laughs> we're not going to do that today. <laughs> but I really wanted to share with you how cool it was to have those centers start getting harmonized together and like working in a unison. And it is, it's like, it's a really, it's a really neat crystal that I have not worked with so much for the Claire audience and the throat chakra as much as I have used it for dream recall because it's perfect for dream recall. A lot of the times when we're sleeping, we have these super active and like vivid dreams where, you know, it feels like we're, you know, we're doing a whole lot or we're really experiencing and feeling and just we're really in it, but then we wake up and we don't remember everything. And so this crystal really, really helps you with the dream recall. So you can put it under your bed or on your nightstand. I do not recommend putting it under your pillow because you don't want to get the slivered bits all over your bed. That would kind of suck. And um, it said to me that it works through in layers. So it's not one that's going to just like pow, blow open your throat chakra or, you know, like blow open the clear audience of, you know, that psychic sense. It feels to me like it works in layers. It was very specific about it being layered and that it works in layers. It works like one layer at a time. So it's, it's gentle and stabilizing in that way. So what else did I want to share with you guys? Um, I talked about that, how it holds like the water and air elements to me. If you guys experience it differently, like I would love to hear that because 
I really feel like water and air are the strongest elements that this crystal works with. And um, wearing it as a necklace, you guys, this is one that you definitely want to have as a necklace at some point because it works as just the stabilizing. It calms the overactive. It helps kind of work up an, an underactive. And it's a higher vibrational stone. That's why I want to say it's like a sister to the selenite because it's a crystal that doesn't really need cleansing. It kind of is like a little powerhouse and it just, it just does what it does and it's awesome. <laughs> so um, if you are really trying to work on your clear audience and your psychic development in that way, try working with the blue kyanite and tell me how it goes for you. So the words that I heard in this journey were work with me for a dream recall to help bridge the conscious and subconscious mind, bridging them into harmony. You clearly can communicate in your desires for manifestation. So it helps you take those subconscious thoughts and some of those subconscious programming that we have and help bring it to your conscious mind so that you're aware of it and you can make the changes necessary as you want because in reality, we're always manifesting the law. I really do believe the law of attraction is a real thing and that whenever every, we're always manifesting every waking moment, you know, our thoughts become things, what we're putting our desires and our emotion, our intention out there, those things are coming to reality. So bridging that subconscious and the conscious mind is a great way to help you kind of be a clearer channel for that manifestation. And it will also help you with those dreams to be recalled to your conscious mind so that you can get those messages. Because sometimes we have family visit in our dreams. Our guides talk to us in our dreams. There's a lot of messages that come through in our dreams. And if we don't remember them, it can be really hard to get the message. So a perfect crystal to use for dream recall. And I really felt that Archangel Zadkiel works with this crystal as well. This is like one of the crystals that aligns with him. So if you want to work with Archangel Zadkiel, you could try connecting with him with the blue kyanite. You might find that helpful. And um, finally, it's like a, um, a balancing crystal of the creative and the intellectual. So it feels to me like it's a crystal that helps you kind of balance the left and right hemispheres of the brain. It just, it's a crystal that really helps stabilize and balance. It's, it's gentle in the way that it does it. And it's very powerful in the way that it does it as well. So definitely try blue kyanite. It should be pretty easy to obtain. You can get these on Etsy or eBay. Um, a lot of like crystal subscription boxes will give you <laughs> the blue kyanite. You guys have seen that I probably unbox like four or five, six boxes that have had some blue kyanite in it. It's a very common crystal to get. And you can find a piece that you're super drawn to and like crystal wrap it and put it on a necklace, like the wire wrapping of the crystals, you know, and then put it on a necklace because it's one of those that it's not going to be um, super draining to wear. Some crystals can be um, super powerful in a way where you almost feel fatigued after wearing them or after working with them because they work so strongly where this is one that's more gentle and you can work with it like all the time <laughs> is what it feels like to me. So I think that's it for the journey. I'm going to look at my notes really quick and yeah, that's it for the journey. It was kind of a shorter journey, but it was very to the point, which is always nice too, because sometimes it's, it's nice to just kind of be like, boom, boom, boom. Things are moving right along, especially with the week I've had. The week I've had has been nuts, you guys, <laughs> but that's a whole nother story. So, um, I also wanted to let you know one last thing is that Arielle and I, Arielle of Miss Maven Unmasked, you guys have seen her on my channel many times. She and I have started the Mystic Minds um, YouTube channel. And this week we talked about shamanism. So one of my favorite subjects, and since you guys know that I am a shamanic practitioner, it was one of my favorite subjects to talk about. And I will leave the link right here for you guys to go see that video if you want. Please like and subscribe if you want to hear more from us. We were talking about plenty of different subjects and this October is going to be kind of like um, spooky, fun, like haunted places and things like that we're going to be talking about as well. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. And October, I am discounting my meditation wraps. So if you guys are interested in buying a meditation wrap, I'm going to be manually discounting them just for the month of October. So 
head on over and get yours, all right? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to get a reading from me, you can um, book one in the links below. You can get one through Etsy if that's your preferred platform and you want to buy a wrap at the same time. I would totally love it. <laughs> Or you can just uh, book one through my website at greenlightmessages.com. I would love to work with you guys. So light and love. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. And I will talk to you next week. Have a beautiful week, lovelies.